Hello and welcome to the big picture. The Uttarakhand flood disaster which has shocked and stupefied the entire country for the last nearly two weeks has brought back to sharp focus the issue of disaster management. This is one of the biggest natural disasters to hit the country after the setting up of the National Disaster Management Authority following the enactment of the legislation in 2005. Much has been said and written about the effectiveness and ineffectiveness of the working of the authority and the structures created to manage the natural disasters. However, what has been witnessed simultaneously of competitive credit taking by the political class has raised many questions. The attempts to score political points and appease themselves to their own electorate by paratrooping into the disaster zone to express sympathy and apparently rescue the stranded people has left a bad taste in the mouth. Is such apparent show of sympathy and apparent helping hand being offered avoidable? With clear command structures having been established following the enactment of the National Disaster Management Act, shouldn't the political class allow it to function instead of intervening and adding to the confusion? Has the time come for some kind of a protocol to be evolved and established to guide the political leadership, be it the chief ministers or ministers of other states or others in such times, so that the unsavory controversies which has been witnessed in Uttarakhand recently can be avoided in future? We will discuss all this today with Shantaram Nayak, Congress MP and spokesman, Tarun Vijay, BJP MP in the Raj Sabha and incidentally from Uttarakhand, Nilotpal Basu, Central Committee member of the CPIM, and Vinod Sharma, political editor, Hindustan Times. Welcome to all of you. Mr. Shantaram Nayak, this is, this is one of the biggest disasters. We have had many discussions going on across, across the media spectrum. But one of the things which, is, uh, which has constantly been discussed is about the role of the political class in, 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 in this uh, unfortunate disaster which we have witnessed in Uttarakhand. You think the political class uh, tends to overplay itself when it comes to these kind of things to show their sympathy to the people? You see, it appears that from your statement, initial statement, that you wanted even CM of Uttarakhand to be excluded. No, from, I, I, no, no. Uh, I, I said CM of other uh, states. From the visit. No, no. Uh, I said uh, chief ministers of other states. Other states. Uh, yes. No, no. Hmm. Please the continue. Question is, of course, uh, in principle, I may agree with you, but question is, if some of these leaders don't visit, then media as also other political parties will go on criticizing, where is this man, where is gone, like these questions come. At that time, media will not support the persons who have not gone or the leaders who have not visited. Therefore, it becomes duty of whoever is to go and visit there. Secondly, Disaster Management Authority, right. the administration and legality was created by UPA government and a good administrative and legal structure was created. Maybe there are some failures in the matter of implementation. But okay. with this experience, I think this authority will function in a better way in future. But Mr. nobody should say, where are the guidelines, where is this thing, where should... This is a, according to me, I have studied that aspect broadly. It's a voluminous, voluminous guidelines, act is there and force is also provided for. So everything, district authorities, state authorities, at all level authorities have been provided for. They should function, no doubt. But to just throw it in dustbin is not the answer. Mr. Nayak, you also have indulged in the same thing, trying to take credit for the National Disaster Management Authority Act. But the fact of the matter is that this whole process started sometime in 95 and ended in 2005 with the enactment. So many, all the governments who, which were there before were also involved in it. Anyway, uh, Tarun Vijay, you are from Uttarakhand. Oh, what are what you saying? I have not followed. No, this, this, this act was enacted in 2005 by the UPA government, no doubt. But the process began in 1995. That's what I was just trying to tell you. Anyway. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tarun Vijay, coming to you, Uttarakhand, your home state, one of the worst tragedies has occurred there. Don't you think that the political class could have avoided competitive, this competitive credit taking? Uh, no, sir, I, I don't uh, agree. Nobody tried to uh, uh, go on uh, that kind of uh, one upmanship and I agree with, the, uh, to some extent, with uh, my colleague, uh, my friend uh, Shantaram Naik. Uh, because political class is 
accountable to the people. They come, they draw their power from people. They are uh, asked every single moment, where are you, what you are doing. And when they go, I'm sure whether they belong to Congress or BJP or BSP people with, with us. I was in Gorikund. I have just returned to, today this morning right. and going back tonight. So I have appreciated every single party's contribution. I went to the Congress camp. I appreciated their efforts in uh, Guptakashi. And there were RSS people which were shunned by media for whatever reason. But they, there is Guptakashi. There is Gorikund on foot. I, I went to Gorikund on foot and refused chopper. So they try to, you know, have a connection between administration and uh, the sufferers and the victims. Uh, it is very, very necessary because all the time the government machinery cannot provide that kind of a warmth or connectivity which a political class can provide and they are necessary. They don't hinder the uh, uh, work. Are you sure? Everyone, Narendra Modi went there, he tried to help, he did help, Rahul Gandhi, he tried to help. It's it's an expression of uh, people's mood and their sincerity that we want to do something good for you. So everyone should be uh, appreciated. And I am not going into any kind of a blame game that uh, what happened and then. But we lag infrastructure completely. The communication system. There was no uh, national disaster uh, response team in uh, Gupta Kashi at least, which is the most vulnerable point. And uh, the help reached the third day, fourth day. No, can, so the can, three can, crucial days were lost. No, no, Mr. 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 Tarun Vijay. My question is, okay, national disaster management, all the, all the structures, the disaster management force, whatever. See, these are all trained people. These are supposed to be there, you know, they, they were not able to reach because for whatever reasons, maybe because, you know, the, the situation was so bad. But you know, you no, think they are you not trained for that. I'm sorry, I, I want to intervene. Yes. They are not even given a helicopter in our state. What kind of a force is it? They have to be empowered. They have to be further strengthened. They have to be given a mandate. They have to be there stationed at points where if, the response time is uh, uh, less, it's reduced. That is they okay. were nowhere. Yeah. They had to come from Dehradun. And uh, uh, they had to be in Gupta Kashi or Gorikund station. There's, there was no NDRF team in Pithoragarh in Munshiari, none in uh, uh, Gochar or uh, Joshimat. It should have been so natural, but okay. the, it, it didn't uh, occur. And five days, there was no DM in Rudraprayag. It, it, they took five days to send a replacement. So in the most crucial time, the district was headless. And okay. we were depending on revenue police which is the only uh, area in the entire country, in our state. No, that's all right. Enough. But my but, but my question yes. is a broader question. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. Nilotpal, you know, do you agree with, the, with your two, uh, uh, two previous colleagues saying that the political class, the presence of political class in such kind of disasters, uh, prone area, disaster areas, apply, you know, bring a balm on the people, people who are suffering. Do you think so? First of all, your clubbing of all political parties as a political class is something uh, which makes me uncomfortable. No, this, is a, this is a common complaint which you have, I understand. Uh, yeah, because, because uh, that is the way the uh, media is trying to really homogenize everything which is wrong, which is not objective. Uh, I do not agree with my colleagues because, you see, we are mixing up two things here. One is political parties, their activists becoming part of the relief effort, rescue effort. That is understandable and I think nobody complains about that. But the most uh, brazen and most, uh, how to say, obnoxious kind of uh, uh, fighting for uh, media bites and media space that we are doing so much and we are doing that coming to fisty, fisty, fisty cups. I mean, that is something in one uh, which, which, is, which is really putting a huge question mark on the credibility of the political system itself, on the political parties itself. Mm -hmm. It should be shunned at all costs. And I think uh, uh, as a nation, uh, India is becoming prone to knee-jerk reactions. Uh, you will recall that uh, whenever we had... Uh, major natural disasters, we had gone for knee-jerk reactions. Uh, we had seen this also. 
when the tsunami came in Andamans and uh, so many other occasions. You see, uh, we, we, we do not spend time on the implementation of the enactments that we do in the parliament. Right. I mean, uh, the points that Mr. Vijay is saying about the lacuna, uh, he has been to the spot, I have not been. He could be very well true. But at the same time, all of us, we have to introspect what we did in the parliament in terms of monitoring the process right. uh, in a situation where the crisis was not there. I mean, it is the maturity of the polity which is tested in times when we are not in a crisis. If, collectively, if we collectively fail to do so, then uh, we do not have any right to blame at the same time, I think uh, uh, political parties should come to a consensus that uh, this is, uh, ab ab I mean, uh, simply unacceptable and people don't like this at the time of uh, such a huge disaster. I mean, I cannot remember uh, when, when such a big disaster take, uh, had taken place. And there are other aspects also there are other we aspects. need to go to. Yes, yes. Uh, um, the the eco ecosystem and no, our no, development we, we, paradigm and all that. I'll, I'll come back to that. There are other issues that need to be. I'll come back. You know, we know the two, three issues which have come up from this forum. One, what Mr. Shantaram Nayak says, that you know, political class have a genuine dil dilemma that he was talking about, that if the, if, if the leadership doesn't go and uh, visit these spots, they are, they are blamed. If they go, they are blamed. So there is a real problem there, it, and partly because the, we in the media create that kind of problems for them. But the, but the more important thing is, you know, there is, a, there is a very clear system established by the National Disaster Management Authority. Now, chief ministers of other states going there, or ministers of other states going there, don't you think that hinders the work? and creates more, more problems than solves them? You see, uh, <coughs> I think that uh, any disaster of this magnitude, and there was a demand that uh, this be declared a national disaster or something, uh, which has its own, uh, you know, benefits for the affected state, you know, where relief That has not been faster, heard so, so much thing. this time, because you know, th th this is a national disaster. No, yeah. It has been uh, No, but what I'm saying is that, Indeed, I would go along with Mr. Nayak's uh, contention and that of uh, uh, Mr. Tarun Vijay that indeed the political, uh, the politician would like to identify and reach out to the people in their hour of crisis. But there should be a method. Exactly. Rather than being it, it being a madness, there should be a method. It is clearly established, you know, when we say that we are a federation, we are, you know, we are a federal system. Then in a federal system, uh, if the state governments have their sphere of domain right. of powers, then that domain of power should not be violated by should another state minister or another state. Or usurped. You see, say for instance in Kashmir, there is, a, there is a united command, you know, which has army and other security forces, but it is headed by the chief minister. Right. Uh, I think that uh, this system and this hierarchy must be respected by any chief minister who is trying to be a good Samaritan, who wants to lend his shoulder to the wheel uh, uh, in the state that has been affected by any kind of disaster or natural calamity. And secondly, and thirdly, the media too uh, has to be a little more restrained in reporting and at the same time jumping to conclusions to criticize or rubbish the state administration or the authorities that are fighting the crisis on the ground. Uh, I saw that, you know, in this uh, whole uh, episode, the army was rightly praised. Right. And I think that I have no grudge against the army being praised. I would rather like to lend my voice to that praise. But then there were a whole lot of other arms of the administration, of our society, right. who were active there. Uh, you know, a short while ago, I got to know uh, that uh, you know, the volunteers from all faiths, be they Muslims or the Christians, of course the Sikhs were there from day, day one, uh, they have also joined in the effort for relief. And I think that this, is, this shows the strengths of India. Uh, of course, there, were, there, there has to be some introspection done and some post-mortem undertaken with regard to the response time, with regard to the availability of infrastructure at the district level to meet a crisis of this nature, and of course, 
you know, this like uh, it has been pointed out that one DM was missing. Of course, there is nothing like headless uh, in our administrative structure. There would be somebody who's second in command. But surely it would have helped had the DM himself been there. That's himself, true. And you know. the, we, we, anyway. We, we, so we are, what I'm the short point I'm making is that the hierarchy which is built into uh, a federal structure or a, a union with federal features must be respected by all because tomorrow, God forbid, it can happen, it can happen in any in, state yeah, and, and then, then the same. some chief minister lands in a chopper and says, I want to do this or I want to do that. One should not take names here. I think this experience should make us wiser next time. Absolutely. Uh, we, we, we need to go into a short break. We'll come back. There's several other dis uh, issues to be discussed. We know this uh, point about federal structure. In, and in fact, the, the entire structure of the National Disaster Management Authority itself is pretty interesting and we'll discuss that and how some kind of a political protocol can be evolved. Please keep watching, we'll come back very soon. Welcome back. We are discussing about natural disasters and asking the question whether some kind of a political protocol needs to be evolved in such situations. Mr. Shantaram Nayak, coming back to you. Uh, your point earlier made is well taken yeah. as far as the dilemmas faced by the politicians are concerned. But, you know, when, you, when we look at the uh, National Disaster Management Act, uh, Act itself, I find that, you know, there's a very, very well established, very well uh, de delineated structure, command structure, which is there. Armed forces is very much part of that. So that's, that's one issue. But one in very interesting issue has been raised that... You know, the subject of d disaster management does not specifically find mention in any of the three lists of the seven schedule of the Constitution. So, this kind of uh, confusion which can be created where, you know, other people, other chief ministers go there or... Because you think it is time now for a, for a look by the parliament, uh, by the parliament and the government about including disaster management in any of these three lists, maybe in the state list or, you know, you know uh, concurrent list or the central list. Yeah, it, it can be considered because sometimes disaster is considered under uh, agriculture. At one time it was considered under uh, agriculture. Now it is treated under home ministry. Yes. And these things happen. And therefore, to bring clarity to this aspect, Disaster management as a subject can be included in one of the uh, list of the Constitution of India in consultation with state government. That I agree. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tarun Vijay, you know, in this specific case in what, what had happened in Uttarakhand, don't you think that the, uh, that the state government was handicapped by this, several other ministers, we, uh, some, of the, some of them we know that they have gone there because it has been highly publicized visits. But there are several other ministers, I am told, who are from different parts of the country, different states, who have landed up there and, you know, who are trying to manage the situation. Don't you think that is creating more confusion? I was there at the ground zero for yes. all these four or five days. And I have not found that because of this, any relief work was hampered. I was in touch with the army, IAF people, NDRF people, the local bodies. Everyone tried to do his best given the circumstances in the given uh, infrastructure. And, but I will prefer uh, certainly that uh, till the situation is brought under control, the high profile widgets can be minimized. And let the ground level people, the local people take care of the situation. And when the situation is brought under some control, then the widgets can be made so that an assessment is uh, uh, drawn and uh, a planning at the central level. I have already requested that our state government is uh, in really in a, uh, under great stress. So let the central government form a group of ministers to take up the uh, work of uh, uh, reconstruction, reconnectivity and uh, restarting the whole thing. It is very, very crucial because uh, we have, uh, I think there is some uh, failure that we were not able to convey the gigantic magnitude of uh, the devastation and the human tragedy. It's unbelievable, I'm sure. unspeakable. No, I mean, and we were there as an Indians, not wearing our party. Certainly, or, certainly not, yeah. not, not as 
not yes. as any you know regional grouping or th things like that but mr vijay if you have gone through the national disaster management uh, structure you will find that there already these things which you have been talking about have already been you know there there is a cabinet committee on management of natural calamities there is a cabinet committee on cabinet committee on security there is a high level committee which includes ndma you know the the, the armed forces the, the structure is well established it was not think, followed i'm sorry do you think it, that was it was not, not followed, followed there Ah. There has to be a central command and every other arm of the relief operation should have been worked under that. So unfortunately in this kind of a situation we lacked a central command and there were many independent bodies working at their best. So that can be we salute them everyone including police but they, they were did working their best but, administrative uh, workers but are you saying officers. that but are you saying that they were working at cross purposes not cross purposes but if there were a coordination they would have worked better. and the casualties would have been minimized like uh, i would have expected that uh, a body like uh, ndrf uh, should have tried to reach there on 16 they reached on 19 the evening and the uh, very important time very crucial time of 3 days it uh, turned out that uh, most of the casualties uh, uh, occurred in these uh, days but mr Hunger, vijay cold uh, uh, dejection hopelessness everything came the shock was enormous and it was no doubt. I, i should not be saying that i'm sorry if i'm offending but like a, a hiroshima shock a watery hiroshima it 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 was it numbed everyone paralyzed absolutely. everything absolutely but mr mr vijay i want you to comment on this some kind of a political protocol who should go there who should you know in in future when if there is a uh the disaster of the of this kind anywhere natural disaster or any other disaster you can't do so i'm so sorry you think you that 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 some kind of a political pro protocol needs to be put in place it has to be you know self determined because we go there as an indian uh, uttarakhand is not a republic so every indian has a right to go and express solidarity with the victims who will make this protocol we ourselves exactly so if there is some kind of a consensus let it uh, let there be but uh, i think the focus should be given to bring the situation under control let the uh, first responders uh, 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 go uh, in action and when the situation is brought under control then prime minister or other people can also visit okay. going in the first instance doesn't help okay. that is my personal opinion okay. but uh, naik saab can differ okay uh, nilodpal do you do you agree that there needs to be a, a political protocol put in place and also about this seven schedule about whether disaster management should be you know very clearly de defined whether in which list it should be i think that can be done but that is more of a uh, academic kind of constitutional exercise i think the law is very good all of us were involved in the framing of that law and it has been uh, gone through with a fine tooth comb so in the uh, first intervention itself i was telling the problem is with the implementation that implementation depends on a uh, culture uh, national uh, or for that matter any disaster management culture now that has to be uh, uh, imbibed that has to be assimilated through education from from the child age we should uh, develop so <laughs> okay that. but you know but but and, my and specific is, question and, 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 and i i i i and i i i i will just quickly uh, address my friend vinod sharma's concern also i think he is true you see if visits are made uh, visits will be made but at least on the basis of some kind of a consultation with the state government concerned you see ultimately on the ground they are coordinating uh, the point of coordination that mr vijay was also making is very very vital okay so so the coordinator should be in a position to beforehand know no. when this uh, activities will uh, take place okay mr shantaram nayak quickly a political protocol in yeah, such yeah. situations yeah. so that may, who may should who should land very quickly may, mr may nayak I, mm. no i said in it can can be considered whatever you suggested but roughly see when a disaster takes place roads get damaged buildings get damaged yes agriculture gets damaged industries are thrown out so four five subjects are involved in a natural disaster right and therefore 
any one ministry looking after this aspect is very difficult. Therefore, there has to be a coordinated effort. That 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 is that is that, is, that has been provided in the national disaster management a coordinated effort. We know the last words to you. No, I think that uh, first Quickly. of all, I think the subject has to be on concurrent list. There is no other way. Uh, secondly, I think that uh, there could be a subcommittee of the National Integration Council, uh, which comprising of chief ministers, which could get activated automatically. And if chief ministers from other states want to reach relief or there any kind of logistics in by support for logistical support to the affected state, they can have this subcommittee coordinate with the state government. Because and not just not just chief ministers, even political parties who of want course, to of course political exactly. parties, yes. chief ministers, NGOs. I mean, uh, frankly, may I tell you one thing? Because it's a it's a it's a national uh, disaster. It's a it's a national challenge. There has to be a national response national to it. National response. As a one cannot and object. And a coordinated but, but, response. But it leaves a bad taste when the chief minister from a particular state goes there and evacuates the people from the same yeah, state. I mean, that doesn't leave a good taste in the mouth. No, but nevertheless, maybe, as I said, we can learn from the present for the future. Absolutely. We, we should learn from, from the present for the future. Hopefully, there, there, will, there will be such, such uh, controversies and ugly controversies which we have seen will be avoided in future and there will be a better command structure evolved and hopefully some kind of a political protocol will be evolved by the political class itself. Thanks to all my guests, Nivakpal Basu, Mr. Shantaram Nayak, Tarun Vijay and Vinod Sharma. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue on the big picture same time on Monday. Meanwhile, have a great weekend.